folks, Matt here again. As usual, me is with me today, out running around here chewing on sticks. Uh, maybe Buddy Brian here, he's uh, getting a bit more fuel for the fire. And action! <laughs> Just come out on this uh, beautiful day for a hike and a boil up. And uh, came out to do a little gear talk with my new uh, coffee grinder. Anyone who's following me on Instagram or Facebook, I'm sure has seen the post over the last couple of days. Uh, very exciting piece of gear. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people think I'm a little bit foolish for having invested uh, uh, as much in this as I have. But uh, for someone who's been uh, grinding, I've been manually grinding coffee beans at least once a day, every day for the last four years or more. I'm um, after going through three cheaper coffee grinders. Uh, the next step would have been a 50 or 60 dollar grinder which I probably would have had to replace again next year anyways so I said like uh, like anything that uh, I have that's expensive um, I don't look at it so much as a cost I look at it more as an investment um, I'm investing in enjoying a good quality cup of coffee I'm only making one a day so I got to make it as uh, as best a cup as I possibly can um, this is the VSSL Java. Uh, the first thing that I noticed about this when I bought it uh, is also the same reason why I don't think it makes a great backpacking coffee grinder. It's very heavy. It weighs almost a pound. I was reading up on it several times before I even bought it. Because it has the conical stainless steel burrs, uh, which is also going to help with uh, a smoother, more consistent grind, uh, they're able to estimate a 6,000 cycle, uh, 6,000 grind cycle lifespan, which if you look at one coffee every day, you're good for about 16 years, 16 and a half years. So if you look at it that way, the cost of it goes down exponentially. So I consider purchases like this to be more of an investment than an expense. Uh, I can relate that to several items that I purchased. A lot of which your average person who's not into the same things that a lot of us are into uh, would look to be a frivolous expense. You know, uh, what do you need an $800 tent for when you can go out and sleep on the ground in a $200 tent or a $100 tent? Sure you can, but I mean I don't need to get into the details as to the differences between a $100 tent and an $800 tent. I mean they speak for themselves. Um, it's an investment. I'm investing in the overall experience and the long-term use for any of the uh, higher-end uh, pieces of equipment that I have, and, and now this coffee grinder is definitely added to that. Um, I never was one for uh, believing that the expensive stuff made that much of a difference um, until I started working. Um, a lot of you guys that are following me know me from the shop that I used to work at, Outdoor Pros. It wasn't until I started working up there and started uh, really getting used to the higher end equipment, the higher end apparel, uh, and I really started to experience uh, what you were getting when you were getting into that level of elite gear. You're getting into the Sitka products, uh, a lot of the Under Armour stuff. It's, it's equipment that just lasts forever and it really does what you need it to do. Some of the customers would come in and first thing they'd say when they see the price tag on a lot of the items was, um, you know, wow, this stuff's too expensive. Right, I'll be back with you in about an hour. Help me. Can't wait for it to clear up and burn me rope. Well, that's going to burn for way too long making a racket. I don't want to have fun too. <laughs> this is why I usually film better videos when I'm alone or with Stephanie. Anytime a customer complained that something was too expensive, the first thing I'd say to them was, All the good stuff is. You get what you pay for with a lot of things. Um, Anything that's prone to fail, anything that's mass produced, whether it be that coffee grinder or my tent or any of my Sitka apparel, anything that's mass produced is prone to fail. And unfortunately, most brands, most companies now 
uh, realize that it's cheaper to deal with a warranty return than what it is to invest in the expense of implementing a proper quality control program to begin with. Um, just send it out and deal with it when it, when it comes back. Uh, that's unfortunate in some cases, but as long as the product, uh, as long as the company uh, that makes the product that you're buying stands behind the product, I'm fine with that. Uh, I had an MSR tent, uh, Mother Hubba, uh, I'm sure you've seen it in a couple of my other videos. Uh, second time out using it in the rain and it started to leak, it started to leak bad. Uh, we were on a portage trip, Stephanie and I, uh, two nights and it was, you know, it made for a miserable night in the tent. But uh, as soon as I got back in town I contacted uh, the company and right away they had one, they had a brand new fly sent out to me before I even sent the other one back. So I don't mind investing in a, a, a product uh, as long as the company is invested in their uh, customers. Another thing I like to do aside from investing in quality quality gear, quality equipment is trying to support local. Um, anything that I've ever bought, you know, MSR, I could have ordered it online, I went to the outfitters and bought it. Um, a good portion of what I got I bought up to um, Outdoor Pros when I worked there. Uh, this VSSL grinder, Vessel grinder, I guess should probably uh, research how to pronounce it before I go give them reviews on it. Hey, bye. Anyways, this grinder, I didn't know of any companies around that sold it. Um, I started looking a while back and I was into uh, AROC, uh, Atlantic Rivers Outfitting Company down on uh, Water Street. Um, and like most of what they sell, it's, it's, it's just all high-end gear. Uh, and it was the first time that I came across this grinder. Um, I was hemming and hawing for the longest while. I, I didn't need it because it is expensive. But again, uh, after having experienced so many failures with, with uh, cheap grinders, uh, the last grinder I had was a Firebox grinder. I contacted Firebox, they said they'd replace it. All I had to pay was the shipping. So I, I, once again, a fantastic company. I have uh, multiple stoves by them, um, different accessories, uh, cook sets. Uh, but the cost of the shipping was the cost of the grinder. So I said, uh, instead of him being out uh, grinder, uh, me being no farther ahead financially and the post office being the only one that made the money, I said I'd just uh, invest in a, a better grinder. So I went down to AROC, um, the boys down there were great to deal with, so I was able to get the grinder that I finally wanted to get, uh, add another nice piece of kit to, uh, to my setup and I was able to do it to uh, support local. I also noticed since I started using this grinder, I've only used it, well, I'm after making four or five cups of coffee. That's the other problem now, I'm going to drink way too much coffee. Um, every cup that I've had since I've been using this grinder tastes so much smoother. The last grinder that I had, I'd only get the occasional cup that tasted that smooth, but with this one here, it seems like every cup so far, I, I can only assume that it's the consistency of the grinds. There's um, ball bearings above and below the burr, so it, it helps eliminate any, any chance of wobble and just increases a, a, a more consistent grind. Brings your bed in the woods and your lies next to it. Alright folks, so that's about it for today. I uh, just wanted to touch on the uh, the new grinder. It's, it's, it's too good. It's too good. So if you're looking to get yourself one, I couldn't suggest it anymore. They're as fantastic. Uh, so far, I know I've only had it a few days, but I'm super pleased with it. Uh, even only after having it a few days, like I said, I've been using manual grinders for the last four years. Uh, it, instant is, is perfect. Uh, you, you're not going to get any better. Uh, so uh, if you're looking to get one, pop on down there, Roxy, what the boys got down there. Uh, I know they come in a few different colors. Uh, tell them I sent you. And we're just going to finish off the fire here now and uh, get warmed up a little bit and pack on up, pack up and head on out. And uh, so thanks for checking it out. Uh, the um, my next video that I'm going to have up after this one now is going to be the uh, results of the giveaway. 
and I also got a new piece of kit today. It was a total surprise. I stopped in, found it, been wanting one for a long time. It's going to open up a whole new world as far as getting out goes this time of year. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks, boys, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.